Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Akhara Bhatt and today we are tasting snacks from around the world. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm not trying to look at you. Or Korean or Japanese. It's like for literally but we're all water on the wheel, like you cannot even tell the language it's in. So first before we jump into the video, we are going to put the ramen on the stove. So we got a mild flavor with corn in it. That's good. So corny. <laughs> We are doing the volcano chicken ramen. So this is like the extra spicy one. You ever had these? No, never had it. Okay, so we're gonna put this one on the stove and then we're gonna taste test while this boils. Okay, so this was like a Christmas bundle from Little Asia TT on Instagram and it was like for two hundred dollars. All these snacks and drinks that we're gonna try now, including new ramen. So first off, I think we should go with these shrimp flakes. Yeah, why not? This looks like normal. It looks like the normal. Um, it was purple and pink and Oh, you mean the, um, shrimp? the shrimp thing is a fry? Yeah, it looks like that. So, again, we can't speak whatever language this is. Okay, like... Chinese? Korea? I have no clue, but okay. Oh, it looks like... Um, it's like that so. It smells like fish food. Yes, yeah, like, uh, <laughs> like fish flakes. Gold <laughs> fish flakes. Mm. Actually, it tastes good. And it's sweet, but salty. <laughs> the more you chew it, just the more it tastes like the flakes you put. It tastes like fish food. <laughs> Emotional damage. So why do you eat it more than? Uh, but actually it makes you want to like eat more um, On your pack though it did tell you that it's like shrimp flavor And <laughs> the shrimp taste is Roll <laughs> shrimp So how much would you rate this? Out of 10 Honestly? I give it 2 I have to give it that rating? Yeah, out of 10 <laughs> For fishes I'd probably say 10 For human, <laughs> for human consumption I'd point five. Oh no, I'll give it two because it, it's nice. It's, it's okay. <laughs> These are barbecue potato rings. So this should taste good. Yeah. No, it's fine. It smells good. It actually smells good and it looks like Cheerios. It's very tiny. That is actually good. Yeah, you can put it in your hamburger. I'm gonna put it in my hamburger, but I'll eat it like separately. It tastes like barbecue. Yeah, it tastes like barbecue. Too. So, out of 10, I'll give it like 10. I'll give that 10 for sure. It tastes like those barbecue holiday snacks. Yeah. 10. Like 10 for this, for sure. It's like, I don't know what they are. It's like biscuit, but like. I, like, I honestly don't know how to describe it, but it tastes so good. Um, It's strawberry flavored, of course. And I am like seeing that the first few that we tried came like from the same. Ushi brand, so Oishi. I guess, yeah, I guess, Oishi. Oishi. he's the expert in it, and they actually have a website that you could probably check out if you have no clue what you're eating, so let's try this, this is like so good, so it smells like strawberries, mm. I have like a little icing on it, mm. remember, you know small it had a little, white little, Caramel ball, uh, like a ball you see me in a pack, in a red pack, tasting like that. It's really good. Yeah. I find it tastes like ice jumps to be honest. Ice jumps on compos. Yeah, that's good. Really so all the ten. 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 So that's almost good. It made up for that shrimp flavor. So these are like seaweed snacks, and I think they're shaped like fishes. It's seaweed flavor, and it's a Japanese cracker. Just eat it. Just eat it. Eat it before you smell it. This is how it looks. Mm. I feel like he's lacking to me. This is how it looks. No. It's just good. <laughs> you lied. <laughs> yeah, I had to force me, right? That was so <laughs> disgusting. 
The seaweed is strong, but it's sweet. It's like a sweet, sweet seaweed. seaweed. <laughs> it's so disgusting. But if you like seaweed chips, um, I think you'd like this for sure. But if you don't like seaweed, like, I'll give it like a 0.5 out of 10 for sure. I cannot pronounce the name of this, but it's a Japanese corn puff stick. And I will tell him the flavor after. I don't want to say it now to like freak him out, but I want him to try it. Please, so. it smells good. Yeah, right. <laughs> so it looks like a really big um, pumpkin. Anna. So it's seaweed flavored. It's not that bad. Honestly, compared to the first seaweed snack that we tried. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's nice. It's salty. I find... Mm -hmm. I actually like this. I don't like it. I don't like this. I find it tastes like uh, the seaweed isn't like overpowering unlike the other one. And it definitely tastes like Chinese food. Like Chinese food? <laughs> The seaweed taste isn't overpowering, so if I had to rate it, I'll give it like 5 out of 10. I don't like the texture of it though. I'll give it 4. I'll give it 5. It's on the saltier side, so if you like salty snacks, then I think you'd like this. So we have these onion rings, and I'm going to tell you these onion rings definitely taste really good. I think I tried this in the last video, again from Little Asia. So they look like the other snack. It's like very tiny and cherry looking. You are gonna love it. Mm. It tastes like onion and cream. It tastes like the Pringles on the yeah. trip here. It's like really good and it's very tiny so you don't feel guilty for like munching away in a whole pack. I think it's cute, it's bite size. You can't go wrong with these and you got like a pack full of it. So 10 out of 10 for this. Yeah. For sure. This is a pea snack. It's supposed to be something that's like very healthy. So it has like 14 grams of protein I believe and it's pea flavor. So if you like peas you like it. Straight off I can tell you I'm probably going to Hate it. Um, again, it's from that same brand. It smells good. It smells good. I'm not smelling, I just eat it. And it looks like this, like a little, you know. Actually, I like it. Mm -mm. So when you're eating it, it's like really good. But I want to time to swallow it has a, um, it's like something steel. Yeah, it has a steel texture for sure, but I can't it's not, it's not like steel, the taste. It's not steel, it's a lot of taste. Yeah. You know what it tastes in like? Steel bread. KFC fries, when it like cold and you reheat it, that's how it tastes. I feel like steel bread. I never eaten steel bread before. <laughs> <laughs> but it definitely tastes like peas. It tastes like green peas. I know But like, like a steel finish. It doesn't taste anything like peas. I can't tell the taste, but I don't like it. When you chew in it, it's nice, but to swallow it, it's like really bad. So if you have to read that. Four. Mmm. Mm -mm. Okay, but I got three. A three out of ten. For the protein. For the protein, okay. It's another Japanese snack, and it's actually strawberry flavored. And it's like a fish thing. It feels like it's one big fish, though. This is like... How cute! Um, a fish. A cardboard fish. <laughs> fish. And you smell the strawberry in it, and there's like a strawberry filling inside. So I guess we break the fish like Jesus did. <laughs> no, he broke the bread, not the fish. <laughs> he broke something, and then like in the inside, it's kind of like um the filling in it. Mmm. Mm. I like this. It's very messy though. 
Up here, it's not as good. Mm, but it's good. I love this. Would not recommend. It's in this any car. But it's good. The inside has like this strawberry filling. Shall I say, the full texture on the old side. It tastes good. But it's not bad. It tastes like, you know, the really festive cookies. You know, really festive cookies. I think that's the name of it. Is it festive cookies? With like the strawberry filling, that's how it tastes and it feels. So I'll give this 10 out of 10. Okay? Yeah. 10 for sure. Here we have some tomato flavored potato sticks, not chips. Nice. It smells like ketchup. It looks like ketchup. It doesn't have a taste. It's in the active, isn't it? It's just like conkles with ketchup, a hint of ketchup. No, oh, it's tangy, it's half little. Mm-hmm. It tastes in good. I like it. I'll give this one a 10 as well. It isn't spicy, but it's tangy. But it doesn't really have a taste. <laughs> It's like ramen sticks. So I guess it's gonna be like Ooh! They look like orange noodles. Which is like ramen. But without the sauce. Eh? It's Oh, for me, that tastes like ramen. It tastes like ramen, but soy sauce. No, it tastes like ramen. I find it's a golden bell. <laughs> it's like ramen. Um... It tastes like a Mexican snack. Do you think it? Yeah, I like it. I like it. I can't really it's describe familiar, it. Taste. Yeah, it's about familiar taste. It tastes like Mexican chips too, but like ramen as well. It's weird. Noodles. So, what does it taste like? Fries with these. So, up next we have cheese sticks. This is it. I think I have oh, my right on. It definitely did not look like the picture on the pack. So, it kind of looks like the same compost effect. Nice. I like this. I love this actually. I'll give it a five. I'll give it a nine. Like I love, love, love this. That's my kind of snack. It it's tastes like, like cheese puffs. Like seasoned cardboard. So he does not have good taste buds because I find it tastes like cheese puffs. Because I rinse in my palate before I get anything else. <laughs> Pretty sweet pot. So these are lovely puffs. This has a little taste good. I love it, it's chocolate so good. It's interesting. It's an interesting look. So it has like chocolate and filling inside. Yeah, it's like a hot spread with chocolate in it. <laughs> well, it really good. It really does. Well, yours look like that. Mine did not. Mmm. I'm not a fan. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so at first it was like, mm. no, it too. but then I don't know if it even I would give that a two. I'll give that. Oh, I have a fish taste with chocolate. Yeah. This is a matcha tea jelly. Right, this is how it looks. Now, in the back, there's instructions, but it's not in English. So, we're gonna try to figure it out. Oh, okay, then. This is how it comes in the inside. 
And I'm very curious now. So I'm guessing this is actually very cool. So you get like a fork, thingy majig, and you put this in here. Yeah, that is And then you just take the jelly. You know what those jello cups you used to get when we were small? Yep. It looks like that. And then you just dip it in here. So let's try. You put everything in the container, like they said. For some weird reason, I thought it was gonna be like a huge one though. Taste it alone, like taste one alone and then like dip it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is it good alone? Look, it's in there, but it's text yet. <laughs> Hard to swallow. So this is it. I don't know what it smells like. It smells like powder okay, milk, so to like be tea. honest. It smells like powder milk. Okay, so like tea. Yeah, it like tea. But it's text yet, kinda. Hard to swallow. That doesn't have a taste, but okay. So... So I'm going to show him how he's supposed to do it. So you take a little fork and you insert it here and it cannot come out. <laughs> this is weird, okay. I'm just gonna pop it in here. Ew. And we have it and we like just beat it into the air. I don't know if y'all could see without me making a mess. Here. I'll give you a piece. No, I'm good. You try it. You have to try it with the sugar, with the powder thing. I dab it. He's <laughs> lying. <laughs> I'm scared. No, it is in your I just need the texture and I have to swallow. It looks like a bunch of jello with like powder milk. I'm scared. It doesn't have a taste. <laughs> Right, I find this like tea. Mmm. Actually, when you chew it and everything mixed up, it tastes like cube teas. Yes, it tastes good. It tastes with the milk. No, it tastes dirty. No, but with the milk, you really pour it up. It's good. <laughs> I can't breathe. The brother, he doesn't want it. Yes, I did. <laughs> Mmm. It tastes like tea. Oh, I have no kind of tea here. Mm -hmm. It tastes like tea that you make what? a palm of. The texture? Mm -mm. I don't like the texture of it. It's like jello. But it's good. Definitely recommend trying it. It's the first time I'm going like, to try something like this. And you got like two packs of the white powder. I think the white powder is actually supposed to be milk. Milk. Yeah. Oh, okay, no, no. if you have to read it. I'll taste, I'll get a 10. Texture, I'll get a 5. Same. I don't like the texture of it, but I guess that's the effect of it because it's like jelly. But it, it wasn't like jello for sure. It was like those cups you used to get when you were small and it had like a fruit in the middle the of the jelly. jelly. Yeah. yeah. That's how it tastes. So definitely recommend trying that. So in this bundle, before we go on to the, um, the ramen, we got like Jolly Ranchers, like the lollipops, the little ones. We got twisters, which we all know how these taste. And there was also a pack of Sour Patch Kids, which I devoured. And this Japanese. And then we have this, but we want to. I want to try this. So this is actually like hard candy, I think. At first, I did not know. I thought it was like decorations beads. or beads or something. <laughs> Would not recommend giving this to kids. Next to the beads. <laughs> We're gonna try some beads. <laughs> Some Japanese beef. Actually, mm, it's like kind of icing and sugary. Mm -hmm. It's like pop rocks, except it doesn't give you that fizz. Tastes good. Mm -hmm. So we got those in here, and then now for the best part, which is the ramen, the spicy ramen. So if you saw my challenge, I died the first time. You ever had the spicy ramen before? We had the um. You want any red one? The red, red one? The yeah, I think this one, this one is the mild oh, the black one, one, I think. 
Honey well, butter and one. honey, black and one. Well, I don't know which one this is, but we're gonna try it. And yeah, so let's go get around then. So this is not a bulldog tack. This is a brand called Paldo. And this is a volcano chicken noodle. Just boil it like regular ramen. And then the flakes. Hopefully this isn't very hot. Because I will cry. It looks good though. It smells so spicy. Look at how much. Is it spicy? A little bit. Not that spicy. Okay, so he eats papa and I don't. <laughs> That's just for starters. I would say though, compared to the first ramen, this is the extra spicy one from Bulda. This isn't as spicy, but he went and he loaded me up with flakes. Which I think made yes. it spicy. It's like no more pepper. Nah, I feel like this in my chest. Are you crazy? What's this in there? It tastes and good, but it's spicy. So if you don't eat spicy food like me, <laughs> it's for me to shape. I'm going to put up all kinu. They have to say it's about kinu for people like me. Because if you just say spicy, I'll think, okay, it's just like a little spice. This is more than just spicy. Are you a little Spanish in here? Spanish guy? <laughs> <laughs> I feel it in my chest, I feel it in my stomach. <sighs> but if I have to give it like we to start to 10, I'll say 9 out of 10. Yeah. Because it's good. It's, it's very spicy for me. You give it a 9? Yeah, 9 for taste, but it can be more spicy. And I find it spicy. So he eats a lot of pepper, I don't eat any pepper. So hopefully that tells you like how spicy it is. So this was fun. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope your stomach does not hurt you tonight. No, it won't hurt me tonight. Uh, and you guys can check out Little Asia to buy this bundle or to buy any snacks from around the world. And if you like this video, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment for more. Bye, guys.